All right, welcome to my 1987 Olds Cutlass Sierra. This is the infamous Smacks Mobile. This is the proof of concept vehicle for my Smack Booster design. Uh, first, a little bit about the engine. This is a 3.8 liter V6. It's got a custom fabricated cold air intake. I have uh, custom fabbed headers, ceramic coated front to back. It's got a ceramic coated aluminum intake. You can see a nitrous system with uh, nitrous and fuel and purge solenoids. And those are hand fabricated nitrous and fuel rails that I designed myself. Valve covers are ceramic coated. It's bored 30 over. Everything's fresh. New seals, new bearings. It's got a custom ground cam right from uh, Competition Cam Factory. So. Right out of the box after everything was done, probably, I haven't had it on a dyno yet, but around 250 horse without the nitrous. And the nitrous right now I have a 75 shot, but it'll take a 150 shot too. So, and of course, the usual smackamization, everything's painted and done up nice. So here you can see, first thing I want to show you is the connection from the outlet of the booster into the intake manifold as close to the throttle body which is right here as reasonably possible um, mine is is uh, downstream of the mass airflow sensor um, simply because I want to get as close to the throttle body as possible minimizing the amount of uh, stagnant or unburnt uh, hydroxy fuel within the intake system um, and on the correct side of the throttle body butter, uh, butterfly valve so that we are not applying vacuum to the smack unit. Here's the unit installed. Um, I got a few extra wires here um, because I have some meters hooked up. I do have an ammeter that I use on the road, um, but it's kind of a cheapy unit. It's just a just a quick reference guide um, for this demonstration. I've got a fluke uh, inductive ammeter, and I've also got a, a little voltmeter hooked up. Um, you can see my quick connect. Um, electrical connections there. It's basically a GM alternator connection. Um, also, uh, as comes standard with all smack units, is the um, quick release uh, 90 degree quarter inch tubing uh, connection. So the core of the cell can be quickly disconnected, unscrewed, and removed. Uh, maintenance can be done to the electrolyte inside um, the canister. You got a little bit of a look here of the mount that I made and how it's situated within the engine compartment. Uh, it's a little close to the radiator than I'd like, but as with many of you, um, space is an issue with these installations, and this just happened to be the most logical place uh, to install the unit. Um, I do have some airflow from this side. Uh, there is a hole right underneath the, the radiator support. Some cold air does uh, circulate around, helping cool the unit. So, as you can see, the bubbler is here. The output hose, as I've traced, goes right to the intake ducting as close to the throttle body as possible. Um, as far as wiring goes, 10 gauge, and everything is soldered and shrink wrapped. Hopefully, on you can guys can see this. Everything is uh, soldered and shrink wrapped. Nothing is crimped. Okay, even to the ammeter, everything is soldered up, solid. Uh, let's pan over to the battery. It's kind of a cheapy junk battery. It's going to get replaced here pretty quickly. Um, I'd like to get an Optima, but uh, here I've uh, tapped off the top post, which is unused on this application. I purposefully got a battery, um, the side post and top post, so I could uh, do these kind of experiments um, easily. So, you can see, nice solid connections, that's a wing nut, but I tightened it with a wrench too. Um, here's your 30 amp circuit breaker. Um, I prefer to use a circuit breaker other than a fuse. It just seems to be cheaper that way, instead of having to replace fuses. And underneath this 30 amp relay, um, all the power wires are soldered not sh not uh, crimped and everything shrink wrapped 10 gauge okay so pretty much in a nutshell that covers your basic 
Smack Booster insulation. Um, for all you guys that are wondering, what size wire do I use? How do I mount it in my engine compartment? Uh, where does the uh, hydroxy outlet tube connect? What kind of bracket can I make? Uh, my insta ma installation manual shows uh, m um, more detailed pictures of the bracket that I fabricated. And you got to understand that for each application, the brackets will be different. And the length of the tubing will be different. And the situation of the wiring will be different. And that is why when I sell the unit to you guys, I'm just selling the basic unit. I'm not selling the wiring or the tubing or the connections or relays because for every application it's different. Not every engine compartment is the same. So therefore, I'm leaving it up to you guys. I mean, I'm assuming that when you guys buy my unit from me, that you have a good idea of what you're getting into, uh, what you want to use it for, and how you're going to put it in the engine compartment.